Hi everyone, welcome back to True Alchemy. So today we're going to find out how's your person currently thinking and feeling about you. We have three piles from left to right. The first pile is this selenite. The second pile is a citrine. And the third pile is dendritic agate. Pause if you need a little longer, pick the one which calls your name the most and I'm going to begin with pile number one. Hello pile number one, if you choose the selenite, this is going to be your reading. So we have the card time to play, take time to dance and play over here. We're going to start off with the pre-shuffled oracle cards. We have quite a lot. So we have the Unseen, the Starborn, and the Destroyer in Reverse. We have Home, Forgiveness, and the Truth. Surrender to receive support and love. Meditate and contemplate in reverse. Surrender to the beauty of nature, natural world, okay? Don't let pride get in your way. I'm gonna see how to place this. <clears throat> Surrender unhealthy relationships. Surrender to setting limits. Surrender low self-esteem in reverse and don't let pride get away. All right, for the tarot cards, let's begin with the field tarot first. We have the Ace of Wands in reverse. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Wands, Eight of Swords in Reverse, I'm trying to fit this in, We're going to remove this. Six of swords in reverse. Hmm. Ace of swords in reverse. Two of pentacles in reverse. The hermit. Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles in Reverse, Queen of Pentacles Upright, King of Swords in Reverse. Interesting, we have quite a lot of cards. Kind of seeing the energy over here it's a lot about your person refusing to take accountability about something that happened because your person is 
still still in the process of forgiving themselves i see that with the forgiveness card and the unseen both in being in um unseen in reverse is a card which really talks about um somebody unable or unwilling to forgive now i see this as a case where your person felt um not valued or their self esteem was targeted in this connection at some point and i could um there could be people who are in communication but more likely i see this being is a separation pile i see that with the card of uh, surrender low self esteem you deserve success love abundance set intention to identify and release any remnants of low self esteem so i wouldn't say that your person is completely low on self esteem but there are bits and pieces in them which likes to indulge in um half ass relationships because they don't feel like they deserve love um with the surrender to receive support and love card i see that over here that you know your person is someone who um still lacks their ability as an individual they they feel less about themselves in certain places and that's why this person might not be communicating to you properly because um there's not only a lack of um, cellular self expression like they're not feeling whole within themselves and also certain things if you are in separation are really triggering this person to heal from their childhood wounds um with the sun energy over here because leo is um led by the planet of sun i see this being a lot about you know their power the way that they lead their life the way that they express themselves the way that they show up their own self expression right it's a lot about that with the ace of wands in reverse and the beginning clarified by the ace of swords in reverse there was some sort of deceit or lying um or deception over here um that your person could have most likely caused over here um i would say that if there was not some sort of betrayal received on your end or given to this person most likely it can be a case of this person not letting you know how much do they feel for you as of now um possible signs that i see over here are taurus virgo capricorn um we also have sword energy Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and there's Virgo pretty much prevalent. We also have Leo, um, and Pisces. So I see that there's some sort of blockage with this person's self-expression, um, and this is hindering your connection. Concerning, we have the card time to play, make time to dance and play, setting limiting beliefs, surrender to limiting beliefs. I would say it's in a forward movement. The acceleration of transformation i'm seeing that taking place over here even though we have a little bit of blocked energy over here i wouldn't say it's something to necessarily worry about unless and until you feel like you require immediate gratification from th from this person because they're on their own journey you know um and at this point they have to focus on themselves um if if that sounds a little hurtful it's a little bit about how you have to also understand that you're mirroring back a neediness to this person to validate you that you're worthy of love if they're not showing up for you right now you know um that's the reason why we say that self worth comes from self not from outside right and this is that low self esteem that is being reflected back in you as well i wouldn't say it's 100 um 100% mirrored back image but there's definitely some mirroring over here that i pick up from you and your person energetically i see that this person might be trying to open themselves but their defenses are up they're not in a good place emotionally to cater to a relationship um because they themselves face a lot of difficulty in accepting love and receiving it their inner child prevents them from doing that six of pentacles and two of pentacles in reverse and underneath we have the queen of pentacles somewhere this person was not nurtured in their childhood 
I see this as being quite complex for this person to grasp um, because they're not maybe that emotionally intelligent or there's some blind spot that is being revealed to them. They're in a process of enlightenment, I would rather say, where they're being um, shed light upon how they have contributed to sabotaging this connection. Um, and I say that because it takes two to tango and I see that there was some part of you that was also provoking this person now considering you both are catalysts you are in a spiritual journey together um, in a spiritual connection my bad together um, there's some sense of you both not being able to accept each other's love you try to convince yourself that this is not true or sometimes your ego just really gets in between unseen card in the upright is a lot about somebody getting synchronicities um, about what is actually happening in the connection about um how it's true, how it's there for you, how this is sort of destined for you to avail it, right? And I would say that this person particularly is facing difficulty in accepting the truth of this connection or the nature of it because um, I just see a blind spot for this person where they're not able to see it. Even with the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Swords in reverse, although I see somewhere where your person is trying to hide this from themselves, you know, even though the universe is revealing it to them maybe you know the depth of their feelings um maybe their fears are getting in between because with the destroyer card there's a lot that this person has still yet to release from their past and um I would say that this person maybe comes off really prideful. You think that they're um, unapproachable. They have a sort of aura of them, which is very like repellent to you, or you're just picking up that en energetically. Because with the hermit energy, I feel a sense of doubtfulness about themselves that they try to mask with this inflated ego um that they try to present out you know um, with a bloated ego. Excuse me, and it's almost like they. They try to make the other person feel inferior sometimes, um, toot their own horn, and it's because they don't feel worthy of this connection, or you, I'd say rather, yeah. So, um, when we see with the card of surrender to the beauty of natural world, spend time relaxing in nature, replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and ecstasy there, I see that this could definitely indicate a lot about this person not being able to appreciate themselves with the card of starborn as well um they just think of themselves as pretty small even if you're not in comparison with you because i feel a sense of comparison but it's in a way where this person you know you both are true mirror reflections of each other where your person just does not want to meditate upon the fact what the universe is showing them when it comes to this connection uh, there's some shape or form where your person feels inadequate or they just um even if not very much prominent that they feel inadequate they just don't feel worthy of love which manifests in a way where this person puts defenses because when you try to give this person when you compliment them when you shower with love your person tends to pull back or they start doubting if it's real there's a sense of pushing you away because they don't feel worthy of it you know it's almost like an opportunity a golden opportunity representing in front of them and they start doubting if it's real or not with the seven of swords energy over here they start sabotaging this connection because they feel like it's not for them um, and this comes from a place of unhealthy relationships that they've experienced. So your person might not be familiar with healthier love language. Your person might be more counter-interactive when you guys are fighting. This person becomes really riled up and they have a lot of things to say. But this person might face difficulty in communicating directly what bothers them because they haven't been taught that or they haven't learned that. So this person might have also come across really brutal to you um to their words i see that this person is um recognizing yeah i would say that they have recognized their own behavior with the hermit seven of wands and the king of swords there's a lot of repressed emotions that they have and it's not particularly related to you it comes from past of their own life um with i'd say the destroyer yeah destroyer in the reverse is um 
an imbalanced energy or somebody who's not able to let go of the past again it's is somewhere where you trigger this person and they just completely felt like oh i i just cannot deal with pile number one because you know they're doing the same thing to me but whereas what you were doing is just making this person realize you know like poking in that wound and being like you know you're hurt and your person's like no you're hurting me but you're like i'm not hurting you and your person starts hurting you back because they're like yeah you're hurting me and you know that's not what's taking place um, necessarily right it's just your person has sort of a defense mechanism which is um, i wouldn't say completely to an extent of delusional but it just starts cooking up things in their own heads like they just start uh, assuming they're uh, presumptuous about the other person's nature this could also be that this person thought that you're using them for physical needs or like material gains it could be any sort of extortion is what i'd say okay extortion can be a little bit um, intense but you get my point right you get the picture i'm painting over here so with the six of swords in reverse and the three of pentacles as of now they want to cooperate but i don't see this actually happening okay i see this is a lot in the head where this person goes like they their mind changes a lot they're fickle minded i would say when it comes to you um with the truth card i see that you know this sort of vulture or crow um vulture i'd say rather vulture eagle eagle it's looking at the unreal unhealthy relationships excuse me setting limiting beliefs with the ace of wands in reverse and six of pentacles um there could have been a greed in this person um to maybe get a lot through you and maybe not give as much or there's just an imbalance in this connection where your person faced difficulty in receiving equally now this could be in the both of you i sense that you both do not know how to have a balanced relationship because certain times when you tend to um have a give and take it becomes needy between the both of you like you don't know what you need from yourself and you start seeking it outwardly from the other person so this is somewhere when your person was probably really upset or they were having a really bad day they would probably hit you up or they would just want to be comforted by you where there was a lack of self appreciation on this person's end because they sometimes face difficulty in emotional regulation and helping themselves with those you know intense emotion so your person might or might not be very acquainted with their own emotional body and nervous system this is an anxious attachment style i pick up because i get an energy of your person sort of badgering you like they want what they want when they want it and um it's sort of like a bratty energy which could have come across quite deceptive to you because you might have found this person at certain times really desperate like in need of help but certain times they would just completely pull back because they would feel like you're not giving them what you know they want uh, so there's an um there's this, i would say a misunderstanding in them where they don't completely know uh, there was a lack of uh, emotional intelligence where they don't know what they need from themselves and what they need from the other person and um whereas you might have challenged this person to love themselves you know you encouraged this person by your own way whichever way it was whether it was by pushing this person or just the events of divine intervention over here i see that your person felt rejected by you in some shape or form which triggered another trail of thought um that i'm not worthy of being loved by pile number 1 pile number 1 doesn't love me they don't want me around because um they're not being sensitive to my needs whereas that might have been prevalent for some to some degree because i see that you know um this person did require to an extent a little bit more compassion and sensitivity from you even if it wasn't tough love or you needed to draw a boundary with this person and be like you know this is this is how much i can give at this moment and maybe you presented an ultimatum in front of this person or maybe you lashed out at this person um i see a probability of that taking place where your person felt really really hurt by it they felt rejected by you um now this could have also turned out where they felt started it's like a train of thought which um started um falling apart where it's like um your person thought am i not attractive enough am i not good looking enough am i not good for them uh, am i not worthy of love you know even my parents did not love me um my ex did that to me so it's you just you just did one little thing probably 
and it it started a whole domino effect for this person where they still struggle with forgiving themselves i would say and i see that this journey is a lot about them thinking in conjunction with you um what has transpired in this situation as of now when you're watching this reading i would say that it's a lot about introspection for this person we have the hermit in upright it's a lot about maybe a parental figure with the king of swords in reverse could be a father figure just could be a masculine embodying a uh, paternal a masculine embodying um guardian that i would say that your person has struggled with a lot of brutal words that has diminished their self worth um i don't see this as being a happy family scenario your person has been through um a tedious amount of narcissistic abuse i would say um where they really required nurturing you know your person really required that give and take um that maybe there was a really um dysfunctional family pattern or dysfunctional relationship between their parents and the give and take was really bad where the mother used to keep giving and the father used to keep on asserting more um obligations on the mother this could just be energies or this is the kind of dynamic that your person has had in their relationships previously so this could have also taken place in your relationship where your person felt like they have to keep giving and when they felt like you're not giving them they if frankly felt quite rejected and it transpired something where they saw in their own childhood that you know um this person is not going to give to me because i remember what my paternal figure did and still does probably so your person felt like they cannot commit to you or stick around in a matter of longevity over here your person to an extent whether they realize this or not are are um, a little non monogamous they they are because again every person is not a player quote on quote if they keep a lot of options around your person might also have a persona which pays off like stand offish like i'm not going to date you and i'm you're not going to get my full commitment and they mirror it outwardly they project it because they don't feel worthy of it right um so your person starts pretending like they don't want to be in relationships or they currently are not looking for it or maybe they're keeping you at bay they're stringing you along if you're in communication um take whatever resonates okay but i see this being a possibility that if you're not with this person they're not in your life they're living a very um they're outwardly projecting this i would not say that they're completely living like this they're trying to protect themselves and they're portraying this to the world that you know they're not interested in relationships they don't want to be tied down in a way and i hear the word tied down because they feel suffocated um and it's necessarily because this person did not receive that need in their childhood so they feel like they will never get it because they have put a limiting belief that probably operates from the subconscious they might not be even aware of it that you know they have this inside them uh, but they constantly attract people who sort of just want to feed off their energy and take a lot so now this person outwardly projects a standoffish energy which is like don't approach me for relationships maybe we can hang out but that's still that's just till there like we're not taking this any forward so i would say that there is a sort of cognitive resonance where your person knows that they're they're projecting this outwardly this is not what they want they are a home body they want to be you know with someone but they're just really scared of commitment because they feel like they will not be loved and um the irony of the situation is that they don't know how to receive love at the moment they don't know how to cooperate and let the other person take care of them um one of the things i see is dysfunctional is definitely the fact that they don't know how to receive love from the other person they start doubting somebody that is nice to them you know they start thinking that oh this person is nice to me so what do they want from me like what are they trying to get out of me your person might be quite wealthy or they just might be doing doing really good financially and they think that other people want to be around them for those benefits or um 
yeah i think that it's for that they think that people want to be around them for their looks or just what they have but not for who they are inside and one of the things that definitely highlights over here is that your person purposely projects out this um, sort of image and then they feel like why do they attract people that are also to an extent superficial like them right so i would say that even though they recognize what kind of life they're living which is in it's not authentic it's not in alignment um the starborn card can also be a sense of feeling where i feel like this person thinks they're not in alignment with who they are they know this because we have the eight of swords in reverse but the seven of swords i see an energy of more this being like your person deceives themselves because they don't feel worthy of love the crux of the situation is they don't feel worthy of being in love with someone and being catered i i keep on hearing that they don't think that somebody would want to take care of them and give them a full commitment completely want to embrace them and allow the other person to be embraced by them so what is actually a block and what is um, an energy that is blocking perhaps the union or the success of this connection or the progress is your person not being able to accept it and i wouldn't say that it's easy I would not definitely say that oh you know your person just needs to do some shadow work this goes deeper than just just saying that your person doesn't know how to receive love it goes back into this those moments of childhood where your person wanted to seek out for help where your person probably seeked out for help from their parents or their family members and they were denied of that support and it could have taken place repetitively in their life from maybe friends from maybe romantic partners and i sense that maybe this person was also so criticized for being sensitive and needing too much care um and spirit is correcting me saying that it's not too much care right um this person deserves or deserves to have people take care of them right so i see that this is something that is a mental subconscious block that your person has to release and only they can do this right they have to come to the conclusion um of thinking about what do they deserve and this this um sort of epiphany or release of blockage will not come through logical measures this will come through emotional measures when your person will start tapping deep inside okay and i see this um sort of taking place because um i would say it's mildly taking place um i got my attention back to the meditate and contemplate in reverse their ego is getting in between right now but with the hermit over here upright i take that as a major arcana which overpowers this energy for me it says a lot about your person first of all healing a lot of paternal wounds so maybe your person does not share a good relationship with their father or this masculine energy in their family again it could be a, an ex as well but whatever this is the more your person heals from this childhood wound of not feeling loved by this parental figure the more your person will understand how to receive love because they will be open to getting more you know the thing that is uh, prevalent over here is that they don't know how to receive love it's not about giving they probably have a really big heart they know how to cooperate when it's time to give but they don't know how to cooperate when it's time to receive from the other person so this could have also minimized your capability to actually cater to this person because you felt something you know frictional in your energies when when you tried to be close to this person or nice to this person this person would probably just be like rar you know like they just they just are not okay with that they have huge defenses because they start doubting the intentions of the other person that is being nice to them it's almost giving like i've been deceived and i don't know what's real from what's fake it's it's not their normal it's kind of sad but it's a lot about your person returning back to themselves so i would say definitely uh, there's forgiveness that they need to forgive themselves their parents previous people in their lives who have hurt them made them feel unworthy of love i get a tone of friends over here as well maybe bullying um and also hearing scapegoating so this person might be a generational pattern breaker and they often feel like they don't belong um also with the card of starborn like 
you don't feel like you belong somewhere and what your person needs to find is that they belong to themselves their home is within them you know with the home card and the truth and forgiveness so um i would say majorly that forgiveness when it comes to you will come subsequently after they have forgiven themselves on their own journey which we started off with the thought that your person needs to first of all cater to themselves by number one you would come secondary and you should so we're going to get a few channel messages from your person file number one all right bottom of the deck i acted like it wasn't a big deal when it really was breaking my heart so they probably had to walk away from the situation i see that happening over here please stay in my life don't go with the ace of wands in reverse they probably pushed you away or you pushed this person away and it was because you both were losing the love for the situation because you both were triggered you were not operating from a um authentic level you were operating from ego that's why you pushed each other away or this person at the very least ever since i met you nobody else is worth thinking about um i would definitely say that this person doesn't want to actually commit to anyone else um you have a very special place in their heart irrespective of the erosion that they're facing right now I've looked you up online to see what you're up to. So a little bit of stalking I see over here. I just want you to be happy. Um, I get it self-depreciating energy like a martyr. Like you'll be more happy if you're without me because I'm so messed up. And again, this is that energy of feeling not worthy of you. Because instead of convincing themselves that they'll do better or they should come around or they should try to make this work they're more operating out of a mentality where you're just better off without me making themselves feel like they're too much of a bad guy you know um and lastly we have your ir irreplaceable so they might have tried to find the same dynamic outside of this connection and i see that definitely not taking place in your person realizing that this connection is um for them you know with the unseen i see this energy being very prevalent over here these three cards dictate the layout of your reading and i would just summarize it where your person is deceiving themselves to an extent as to how much do they really want this connection right with the card of i acted like it wasn't a big deal when it really was breaking my heart it was breaking their heart you know I'm afraid of rejection. This is exactly what I'm saying. In a way of deceiving themselves is also a pattern of thinking that you're better off without me. I'll probably stay away from you because you're not good. Um, you, you, I'm not good enough to hang around you because, you know, I'm probably going to fuck shit up. But it's, it's, it's a defense mechanism where they're convincing themselves so that they're not scared of your rejection because of what things the way things have transpired over here and lastly we have i just wasn't ready for you so pretty self-explanatory they know that you know certain things that they projected out were probably um taken too far you know in their own perspective and i see that they're unable to forgive themselves they need to first of all forgive themselves for whatever they have done in this situation and only then they will be able to gather the courage um rather than pride you know gather the courage to actually come and face you for what has transpired in this connection how things have played out majorly so before we conclude pile number one we have advice for you we have father in reverse shadow attribute dictate dictatorial control and abuse of authority east beginnings in reverse and protection cave number 17 i would say that maybe there's a chance that you know that this person has done you wrong and you're also holding back in your own egoic measure about this connection um, and I get it that you're trying to protect yourself, but this person is also mirroring that back to you. I mentioned in the beginning where this person faces self-worth issues, even you do. And 
where this person also tries to boost themselves up from their inflated ego is by looking too boastful outside right um this is something that you also do and in a way you're also being inauthentic because you're trying to maybe present yourself to be too happy maybe you're doing this on social media to make a person feel some kind of way to bait them to contact you because you don't want to make the first move because you also feel fear of rejection but you have to realize that if you want a beginning you have to start working on these wounds yourself it's not about who does it first that is definitely on your own personal journeys your intuition will let you know what to do but on a general vague level i would say that maybe you're trying to have an upper hand which is not going in the benefit of either of you because um you might be a little ahead in your spiritual journey or there's just a sense of you having a bigger picture view over here but there's still some sort of way where you're asserting your your privilege over this person where you know that you are irreplaceable in their life but there's there's a sense of boastfulness to your energy as well is what i feel um and you're doing this because you want to protect yourself so letting your guard down and thinking you know let's take baby steps in thinking about being vulnerable to this person and letting them know what they did hurt you and you know not criticizing but conveying is a better way to have a communicative measure and i would say definitely to just think about it you know food for thought so that you can resume things with this person you know again baby steps okay pile number one so this is what i have for you this was your reading i really do hope that you found a message that was helpful if you did please do hit the like button subscribe for more hit the bell icon so you know whenever i upload next let me know down in the comment section how that resonated and i'm gonna see you guys in another one bye hello pile number two if you choose this beautiful citrine this is gonna be your reading so you choose the card of dawn of love love is rising on the horizon of your life so we have a gabe anima mundi Surrender the drama. Reunion of souls, honoring your energy in reverse and teaching in reverse as well. The answers you need are coming in Gemini. Be bold and make the first move in reverse. Surrender your fear of intimacy. We also have surrender to your full power. So for the tarot cards. We have the king of wands. Seven of Swords in Reverse, Eight of Wands, Ten of Cups, Two of Wands, Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords in Reverse Knight of Wands 
the homage in reverse. Queen of Swords upright. Temperance in reverse. Ace of Cups in reverse. Temperance upright. Interesting. And Three of Cups. We have Queen of Swords twice in your spread and the Temperance as well twice. A lot about being honest, I see over here. One of the things I did pick up in the first go is um, I'm getting the word typical lack of accountability on this person's end. Maybe this person struggles with... accepting their mistakes we have the cards of agape and anima mundi this is all about smaller details anima mundi is all about smaller details attending to the smaller details of life as well um, and agape is expanding yourself to a love that goes beyond love beyond words right and we have the card of dawn of love as well over here which tells me that your person is feeling a lot of love for you okay they feel inexpressible amounts of love for you which um certainly they cannot put in words and they almost feel like they're you know they're supposed to be your masculine or your feminine they feel it in their bones that they are somebody to you that is very important if you are in separation or if you're together however the situation is i see that your person wants to come to a peaceful resolution but they're facing difficulty in accepting their mistakes or just putting the first foot forward and being like okay we both you know fucked up things and let's let's come to a peaceful resolution and i see this because we have uh, one temperance in upright and the other one in reverse possible signs i definitely see a lot of fire and air aries leo sagittarius libra Aquarius, gemini i also see a little bit of cup energy over here pisces cancer scorpio i would say all signs okay um message still applies nevertheless i see that your person um with these four cards ace of cups in reverse ten of um ten of cups seven of swords in reverse and three of cups they want a reunion with you with the card of reunion of souls the answers you need are coming and surrender to your fear of intimacy i see that in being reversed that your person has a recognition a mental recognition about the fact that they are not okay with intimacy they're not okay with being close to someone they're not okay with putting all their ducks in a row and um okay i was about to say put all their eggs in a basket but i said ducks in a row so i see that maybe this person knows that they have to balance themselves out with the eight of swords uh, with the eight of wands and the temperance energy sagittarius energy expansive energy they want to explore this connection two of wands energy i believe this is also sagittarius i could be wrong yet i see that with the queen of swords clarified by the libran energy twice king of wands and um two of wands are being clarified by the queen of swords upright both as well it's a lot about clarity your person in the previous few weeks and coming few weeks i'm picking up is positively um ascending because they're receiving clarity with the answers you need are coming in gemini it's a lot about um intellectual capacity and curiosity gemini is a card of curiosity yet it's also the card of lovers which i have no doubt that your person has deep romantic feelings for you this person is in love with you um but i sense that 
either there was a drying out of their own self-love wells because i see that maybe your person could not sustain the intensity of this connection and be honest with themselves that this is what they want and i see an energy um transpiring from my previous readings in pile two as well which is a lot about love especially for pile number two it's a lot about wanting to build something very solid with you really really thinking and seeing you as somebody that is a very viable prospectus for them when it comes to you know um physical movement when it comes to actually tangibly um securing a relationship is what i'm seeing you know the words that i'm using probably sound a little uh, derailed from the concept of love but this is a lot about your person's behavior or your person's the way their mind works it's a lot in a, in a logical sphere is what i see and your person often gets a little hesitated but i see that um in the beginning the beautiful song that we channeled i i my heart feels full of love because i love that song and um concerning spirit pick that song is almost about favoritism right your person definitely sees you as someone that is at the top of the list but maybe they have not been able to deliver this amount of uh, determination or favoritism or specialty that you hold in their their hearts right i think that they have lacked in expressing this and one of the things that is on their head is to give you a confession is to let you know that they want this um but for for some reason their ego is getting a little bit in between i see that um ego is not always pride i do sense a little bit of pride from this person and because of the queen of wands there's a little bit of you come to me i don't want to come to you energy um but nevertheless i see that this person is behaving like this because they're scared of rejection in some shape or form they feel the connection really deeply with you guys um and i see that um surrender the drama and be bold in reverse is all about your person still having a little bit of um neediness to have a power dynamic in this relationship your person still wants to they don't want to play you but they don't also want to come forward and be the first one to confess that you know this is what i want and there might be a situation where you have confessed your feelings to this person or not um but most probably i sense that this person doesn't want to make the first move they probably want you to take the lead which i do not recommend if you're a feminine um you should perhaps let the person pass you you right i feel like if you're in the feminine energy um but i say that this person is a little bit immature when it comes to that self-expression because it's more in the sense where this person feels like what if i put myself out there and they don't reciprocate that feeling so maybe you guys haven't spoken about this being a long-term thing for the both of you where you actually you know put your ducks in a row comparatively for a serious commitment it's different when you just get along with a person and you're going in a fling right but when it comes down to two people sharing their hearts and their lives together it's a little intertwining of souls like your person sees you as a soul mate i see that maybe this person is still planning how to rejoice with you how to come together with you if you guys have been in separation the message still applies if you are in communication with this person but this person is thinking a lot about making this serious with you right giving you a commitment um wanting to communicate to you that i am working on myself that i am trying to be the person you require me to be um on the other end i see a little bit of hypocr hypocrisy i wouldn't say hypocrisy but there's a little bit of double standards where your person is yet to understand in the ways that they deceive themselves when it comes to romantic relationships so even though intentions are pure i have a little bit of doubt on my end concerning this person's behavior because what they feel inside does not match up with how they behave outside and that is the hypocrisy of the double standards that i am picking up over here that might not be necessarily the terminology that i would prefer but to give you a clear picture this is what i would say that in what's going on internally is not represented outside and it's also because your person has a self-righteous energy like uh you know they have a coping mechanism within themselves where things might have took place between the both of you which weren't so good or pleasant and um, your person recognizes that they had a hand to play in it yet they are not completely um courageous enough to maybe 
come forward and accept their mistakes or say it to you that you know um being mature they they don't have the courage to accept it on your face is the main problem i'm seeing over here and whereas that might not be a very big problem but it is a typical red flag is what i say because your person feels like the they would become small in your eyes or they would become small in their own eyes and this comes from a own conditional pattern where it feels like you would have an upper hand and that is one reason why i think that this person wants you to come so that you both can sort of push it under the rug and they don't have to apologize if they have to make that move towards you right so this this definitely comes with a catch but it doesn't take away from the fact that your person definitely has loving feelings for you um i see that the ace of cups in reverse for me most of the time is a lot about your own self love being very depleted at the moment and whereas your person um might not be very cognitively aware of it because with the page of uh with the knight of wands and the page of swords this person is refusing to look back in the past as to how they have probably been non committal or they have brought that sort of lingering energy into your connection from maybe a previous relationship or how they think that you know relationships work it's almost like i think that this might suddenly hit this person like it might just suddenly hit this person or it might have i see that this is happening in the future um but it's going to sink in really deep what they're going to realize that oh i did that and what they're refusing to look at right now is the fact that they want you but they have been behaving in a way which is not showing up like that right so they are intending to do this for you they have good intentions i would definitely place that out on the table um pun intended but i see that okay this person might have a good sense of humor as well they want to bring in a light hearted energy over here they want to definitely you know um conquer the situation between the both of you but they're lacking that sort of masculine demeanor even this if this is a female she's lacking that masculine demeanor she's feeling like you might reject her she or he is feeling like you might reject them um and i see that this is because they're too much into their head about the situation with the anima mundi card it's a lot about going too deep into the situation thinking a lot giving yourself a guilt trip about things your person is not letting you know to the extent of how much this situation is affecting them i would say that this card of surrender the drama is also about nitpicking they're picking up on themselves they could have done that to you and i say that they could have done that to you because they also you know had self appreciating thoughts about themselves they were too critical on themselves they're like a perfectionist i see that your person is um got a tone of perfectionism and you know perfectionism takes place when in our childhood we've been constructed in a very critical form like our parents have told us or the people our guardians have told us that you have to be in this confined box and if you try to step out of it um you will not be loved or you're not going to be worthy of love so this is that energy where your person feels like a little bit where they show a little bit of vulnerability they lose their power that they have in their hands this uh, illusionary sense of power that they think that they have you know your person's energy is a little bit delusional but i feel like it's not in a derogatory manner or a demeaning sense i'm trying to say that but it's more in the sense where your person feels like um it's a coping mechanism i would say it's a coping mechanism for them while they try to convince themselves this person could have also downplayed your worth in their eyes because they felt like it's it's almost like to to take themselves to that pedestal they had to make themselves believe like that and i had such a struggle in saying that word to take themselves to that pedestal you see how the struggle is right the hesitancy is real it's almost like they have to really make themselves believe like they're the shit so that they don't feel inferior to you and that's the reason why they don't want to come forward with this confession is because they sense or they anticipate i'd rather say that's probably the better word a better word that they feel like you're going to reject them they anticipate some sense of um rejection or disapproval or dismissal from your end because i see this being related to their childhood where they have approach with their creativity where they have approach with their sensitive demeanor and in a collective sense how this is um mold them is to not let people see the vulnerable side because in their childhood they were dismissed for that creative 
creative side of themselves creativity is not always just what you create but it's the way you express yourself right creativity is a very vast word so i see that being over here that your person feels like um they're not going to be appreciated if they let you know that you know they loved you so much they want to be with you so very very much um but also that they're lacking the strength because they feel a little imbalanced i'm hearing the word dismantled so whatever the situation took place between the both of you i see something prominent taking place whether it was today yesterday or a few weeks months back i see something prominent taking place over here which shook them a little bit and it almost i get the sense that it might also happen in the future where this person slowly by slowly will be revealed to their own deceptive behavior and i would say that over here there's a tone of being more deceptive to yourself because wherever your person tries to outsmart you they outplay themselves of this connection you know it's like um it's like a domino effect your person thinks that they're deceiving you but what comes with the consequences is that you probably do not tolerate that behavior and it ends up hurting this person because they corner themselves out you know so i see that with the honoring energy in the reverse and the teaching in reverse this is a lot about the person has not learned the lesson from the situation um i wouldn't say that it's completely in a barren island i would say that there is enlightenment coming okay there is um an awakening taking place i would say that to the least that there's realizations kicking in but it's a slow process because the ego is pretty thick it's quite thick to deal with as of now when it comes to the specific wound and specifically when it comes to vulnerability and expressing it's almost like letting you know that they have such deep feelings makes them feel powerless um you know and that is the sense of drama that i pick up over here with your person I see that with the hermit in reverse and the temperance in reverse with the seven of swords and the three of cups there could have been a third party involvement or this is what um, they were trying to um weasel their way with like they were trying to be very lenient with this commitment is what i see there's a there's a connotation of a fling and a serious commitment i see over here that is very prominent and your person um is yet to realize or will okay i have mentioned this there is um a accelerating energy in your pile where your person is yet to or has realized that they they were doing wrong and this will actually really hurt them because again it's a self deceit it's not what they want to do to you but it's what they're doing to themselves out of fear of rejection or i would say towards the spectrum of abandonment where your person feels like you can leave them at any end if you know they let you know how much you how much they love you and you get together and you sort of start taking them for granted so the whole play revolves around the fact that they don't want to be taken for granted that's what's going underneath the surface and this is the detail orientation over here where it really talks about your person not wanting to let you know with the card of fear of intimacy that they don't want to let you know how much deep how you they're not letting you know how deep their feelings run for you right so we're going to get a few channel messages from your person now pile number 2 what would your person like to say bottom of the deck i feel thankful to have you in my life i'm not the same person that you remember so there is definitely changes taking place in this person's demeanor where they are realizing the importance of one person rather than multiple right it really um sort of takes away from them if when they're so scattered right and it doesn't really support anyone's interest ever since i met you nobody else is worth thinking about so this is a lot about them recognizing your value and worth and being like you know i downplay on you but it doesn't take away from your worth because you 
still remain like the price you are right please stay away in my life don't go so they don't want to lose you and they're thinking about this in a more logical sense yet again but i think that they have to think about the behavior it's almost like you know the universe is like go face the wall and think about what you have done and your person is still trying to not face the wall but it will come to a full sphere is what i feel your beautiful your beautiful face is always on my mind so one of the things that is really um, pushing this person magnetizing them towards you is your physical beauty your appearance you're very easy on the eyes for this person and they definitely see you as a um a very um beauty with brains energy is what i'd say they don't think that they can fool you and that's a turn on for them they've had it easy with a lot of people in their past is what i feel you feel like home to me so yeah i think that the energy that we picked up is that they were taking you lightly before and they know that they cannot do that this is that three of cups energy um and the page of swords in reverse uh, the knight of swords in reverse and the knight of wands is that they brought a lingering energy from past which worked with other partners into your connection which i feel you have made it clear will not work so kudos to you you inspire me um we have um, them saying that you know your uniqueness inspires them to also become a better version i want to marry you so definitely they are deep in their feels about you they don't want to let you know that you drive them crazy i want to call or text you they want to reach out and let you know that you know i'm in love with you lying for me was easier than telling you the truth so they they downplay a lot of their energies they downplay a lot of things because they don't want to lead let you get the idea of how invested they've quickly become into this you know how quickly they've invested in this emotionally things have transpired they just feel so much love for you they can't resist you anymore um there's a lot of um, temptation i wouldn't say you're a temptation but you're really calling to this person your energy is like really delicious right now and before we conclude by number 2 we have advice for you so we have um seeker thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are in the light attribute and we have it in reverse so shadow is inability to commit to path once found this is the rain and number 35 and this is south number 2 i see that pile number 2 if you dilly dally between compromising on your worth if that comes across your face where you're like okay you know what i'll just take whatever i'm getting right now this is also being reflected by you where you also feel a little less on self love way not able to sustain yourself without this person if you're in separation you want to reach out to them especially if you're in the feminine energy i i did mention they don't do that let this person pass you you um because it's in that person's natural demeanor as a masculine energy to give to you and you should be more open handedly receiving so get yourself a little bit more poised in your energy and i don't mean fake it but start feeling it from within that you know you're the prize and you should have your eyes should be on the prize yourself not more on what this person is doing when they'll come around it should be more on the sense that i am over here i built this throne for myself and i'm not getting off it what are your real needs and that would be what you deserve what are your emotional mental physical spiritual needs from a commitment right it's a lot about you thinking what you actually want so that you're clear about what you want from the other person and you're not mistaking that from what you want from yourself right don't go chasing this person let them come and pursue you okay so pile number 2 this is what i have for you guys i really do hope that you found a message that was helpful if you did please do hit the like button subscribe for more hit the bell icon so you know whenever i upload next let me know down in the comment section how that resonated and i'm going to see you guys in another one bye and let pile number 3 if you chose this dendritic agate along with the card of limitation is power lean into your limitations I see that your person has been wanting to make this connection happen for a while but it's a lot about the 
the codependencies or i'd rather say the mechanisms that they were using to make excuses about this connection were very drastic like there might be some physical circumstances that place a difficulty in this connection manifesting into a cohesiveness into coming together and there's a lot about your person thinking about how to remove these barriers as of now so we're going to flip your cards we're going to go ahead with the tarot first We have the Queen of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Hierophant in reverse. Page of Wands in reverse. The Hermit in Reverse The Moon Right Eight of Wands Fool Queen of Swords Three of Swords in reverse Knight of Pentacles in reverse King of Wands And we have the card of King of Cups. We have look at the bigger picture. Surrender to effortlessness. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. And surrender to divine timing as well. Wow, how do I place this? We have new beginnings. We have discernment in reverse. Feminine energy in reverse. And we also have psychic development in reverse. I'm hearing this song called American Beauty. I, I forgot her name, but it almost goes like I wanted something different. Didn't know what I was giving. Should have asked when I... Um, something like that. I don't even... I don't know the lyrics, the song is not clicking to me very well, but I know the undertone of it is almost like somebody being like, if you didn't want me, why did you come towards me or something? Um, let's see about that. Wait a second, how's this supposed to go? Yeah, this is probably like this. We have the queen in reverse. The king, the castle. Is this upright or reverse? This is reverse. Althea, Althea, okay, however it's pronounced. And we have the gem in reverse. 
all right one of the things i really see over here is uh, definitely counterpart energies um we have the king of wands and the queen of wands um we also have the you know, the king and the queen card yet some uh, shape or form they're in reversals they're not seeing eye to eye I see that your person feels like you guys are not seeing eye to eye when it comes to something really important to this connection, um, whether that be about the progression of it. I see with the overall energy over here, we have the King of Cups with the control card. I see that your person is controlling these feelings that they have towards you. They want to reach out. They want to talk to you about something. Um, I see with the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Wands over here, they really want to talk to you about something. There's an energy of self-righteousness in this person or being really stubborn about the way that they want to approach towards it. There's a lack of clarity in their head, I would say definitely because of the two of pentacles and the fool. We definitely see Mercury energy over here. So it's a lot about Mercury and Saturn is what I'm picking up. Signs that I see heavily over here are Wago with the Hermit, um, Moon Pisces, we have a Hierophant Taurus and we have Fool as again Wago in Gemini. I would say that uh, we also have Sagittarius Full Moon. Um, I'd say that there's a lot of culmination of uh, Pisces and energy over here, Piscean energy with the psychic development as well. I see that the overall energy is, is a lot about your person controlling their feelings because they still have to make a decision whether they want to take a leap of faith forward in this connection or not. Um, I get definitely get a sense of this person being quite stubborn at this point and them feeling in comparison with you. They feel small compared to you. Their main feelings resolve around these five cards, the underlying energy, even though these give us the mental capacity. I feel like this is a lot about the demeanor that they're holding as of now. I'm going to check the meaning of Althea because I think I'm not clear with it. So Athia in reverse is distortions, gaslighting and excuses. I did mention in the beginning that there were a lot of limiting beliefs your person was voluntarily facing in this connection or putting to rescue themselves from the emergence of true divine feminine or true divine, true divine masculine that they would have to gather within themselves i see a it's, it's a sense of fragmentation i would say your person is very attracted to you okay that is a given fact over here i see them being very attracted to your physique um of course with the queen queen and king of wands they think a lot about how enchanting and seduced they are by you i definitely feel that energy but there's a lingering energy of past i see over here that still stops this person from taking adequate actions to make this connection fruitful for the both of you right because i see that this connection exists it has existed for a while i would say that there is um, an ample amount of uh, history in this connection if not even though this the message still applies i would definitely say that you know, this person with the Hermit in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is feeling impatient comparatively now at this point um, when you're watching this reading. They, they feel in, impatient. They really want to rush in. With the Eight of, so, um, eight of Wands, I get an energy of really wanting to rush in. And this person is um, trying to unlock themselves from a very tangled situation which exists almost purely in their head rather than it exists in the reality i see that with the dendritic it's a lot about peaceful environments right um and your person has struggled with believing the divine timing of this and um they they struggle with not putting their best foot forward because they don't know where this connection will go they almost retaliate or delay the fate of this connection or the manifestation or the development i'd rather say because they don't know if it will work out you know they don't want to put their efforts into something that would again fail so almost like they're scared of this turning out to be a karmic relationship something that doesn't actually stick by with them because they're so scared of losing you is what i'd say okay 
Queen of Swords and the Hierophant in reverse is some sort of, I'd say, mishap. Yeah, mishap is the word. I'm getting miss again and again. Something like a miss opportunity that your person feels. And you can look at how this King of Cups is actually looking downwards at this Queen of Swords. You're probably doing your own thing and you don't realize your person is voluntarily keeping eyes on you. And they're trying to build their own foundation with the with the castle card. I see this a lot about somebody who puts a lot of their value um, into possessions in building their own throne. And this king of cups is sitting on his own throne as well as the king over here. This is a lot about benevolent measures, right? Your person has pure intentions. File number three, I do not suspect any sort of... Um, malicious intents on this person's and yet it's a lot about their own behavior their shadow attribute overpowering this connection as of now from their end okay from uh, where they come from how they're participating is actually by being on the sidelines is what i see your person is not taking any action even though they want to because they always go into this sort of a back and forth energy like whether should i do it or not what, what would happen you know if i do it if it doesn't work out how would that be because this person has possibly invested in connections previously which have not necessarily been very fruitful yet again and have really deteriorated from their own spiritual enrichment and i see this person not being very enlightened to the fact because we have the queen of swords and the hierophant universe there's some sort of lesson or enlightenment or a fact that needs to come to light to them that whatever they've been through has always worked in their favor it's not working against them and it's difficult for this person to actually realize this because they're still not letting their emotions guide them through this you know um there's a certain card i think it would be the limitation is your power like let things flow and just let them happen right yeah it's this card it's a discernment card in reverse number six out of balance feeling out of balance not willing to put in the work i wouldn't say willing yeah I, I spirit is correcting me it's not willing to put in the work um but there's a gratitude you know thank you spirit this is this is gratitude for you um that your person feels that how much you have helped them progress you know this is the rapport building between the both of you especially in 5d is what i see I see that over here with surrender outdated beliefs about yourself and surrender effortless. This person felt like they would have to put too much in over here in this connection where they felt like um, they wouldn't be ever adequate for you. But uh, things are seeming seamlessly flowing in the right direction is what i feel um your person is with the psychic development in reverse in the feminine energy you can see how these two cards are a lot about your femininity right i say that the moon in reverse can also indicate some sort of depression that your person is fighting as of now or just deep subconscious feelings of feeling inadequate or like let my life is not in control of me in my hands king of wands in reverse with the king card it's a lot about uh, perhaps this person was in a very selfish demeanor for a very long time in their life and i see that happening because this person was made felt really small within themselves right um and this really deteriorated from their own potential it took away from their um, masculinity is what i'm feeling you know it doesn't have to be a masculine but it took away from their ability to make shit happen for themselves right and what they're seeing is that not only it was impatience in themselves with themselves with the progress that they were making i see that your person has been through um, a relationship which was very frivolous it was not very committed it did not have um faithfulness in between loyalty or something there was lack it could be from your person's end or it could be from the other person's end or it could also be an energy that was prevalent in your connection i I see this more as being somebody that they were with before you this is um something that goes beyond just your connection is what i pick up and somebody over here could also be a feminine mother figure but it's a cohesive energy of um, a lot of people that they've encountered have made them feel small so this really stuck in their head you know with the, the outdated beliefs it's like the relationship that didn't work out they straight away took it on their own worth like i'm not worthy and i'm just a failure and 
these are the excuses that your person used to tell themselves like i cannot get my shit in order because this connection requires me to be a king and i'm just acting like a page a page of wands in reverse in this uh, three of swords in reverse can also indicate somewhere where your person was themselves bringing that same energy into this connection they were being back and forth they were giving you mixed signals sometimes they were looking like they're on board with making the connection work and sometimes they would pull back they would give you silent treatment they would become really rude with their words this person could have also had a wandering eye and i see that something in them is really changing as they're going through this phase of soul searching with the moon in reverse i most definitely pick up this as an energy of crying over spilled milk feeling really depressive and the tenacity the dur what's the word the determination within them is really really decreased as of now i'm not gonna lie this person feels depleted my energy feels really like um i just really want to take a nap right now but i can't because i have to finish this reading you know what i mean like slugging through life is what i'm feeling right now and whereas your person realized this this is all about your person still having to replenish themselves from within right and this phase is giving your person the advantage or the privilege to rejoice with themselves rejoice with this part of themselves which always they used to remind themselves as being small not being adequate feeling like things won't happen for them right so i see that your person is um becoming the leader of their own life right and if this is speci especially excuse me especially if this is a masculine energy he requires to come into his leadership leadership and authority i'm not able to say words so this is a little difficult for your person to grasp even uh, in consideration with the blues being in reverse it's a lot about not being authentic to yourself and i'm hearing storytelling making yourself believe things so that you don't have to work on yourself your person lacked the determination and commitment to self so i would definitely say that how can you you know expect commitment from a person who's not dedicated to themselves who does not fulfill their own promises right i'm getting this uh, sort of a philosophy which is like when you disrespect yourself when you don't fulfill the goals you have set for yourself you don't have self-respect for yourself right you have lack of respect for what you have decided for yourself in layman terms right and this is a lot about commitment to self how important is it to keep your word to yourself then forthcoming how you can be forthcoming to the other person right there's an urgency that i feel um even though the knight of uh, pentacles in reverse can be a very stuck energy i see this as somebody who's feeling like i don't want to be slow anymore this could be a little bit of shadow side where they feel like they're losing out on you but it's also an energy of this person feeling like you know um i want to come out of this phase i want to start something with my pile number three um where nevertheless i wouldn't say it's something that's very very wrong on your own personalized journey removing this you know general reading um tagline from it i would say that something that's coming for pile number three is a reignition in the connection that you have with this person the momentum of this energy that i'm channeling uh, picks up and then it drops it's because the both of you are learning how to fuel yourself from within within yourselves um the castle card and I would say the gem card especially the gem card is a lot about fueling yourself from within releasing yourself from codependencies from going back to people that you feel validate you or give you love um, which you feel like you cannot give to yourself this person also looks at you as someone who's very independent and it intimidates them but it's also a learning factor for them uh, for uh, for them where they see that you know you can be divine you can learn from yourself you can learn from your own experiences you can love yourself and you do not need another person to necessarily do that for you right i see that with the feminine energy in reverse it's a lot about the criticism that they've faced in their past that has made them feel unworthy distorted you know with the Althea card is a lot about your person feeling like they're dysfunctional they're too broken and with the two of pentacles and the fool is, is giving me like their authentic self was somewhere stuck between these two worlds of you know their past self and the future self that is 
emerging so straddling between worlds and um, I would say that the energy is uh, picking up and falling down because we're coming to a conclusion that your person is um, reigniting themselves they're going through a deep phase of replenishing their own wells and they're finally learning how to love themselves so the so the um, what's the word so the emphasis of codependencies in your connection is reducing to a major level i see that this connection has the scope of becoming really healthy despite of what you guys have been through together i see that this person with the king of cups in upright is learning the strength and vulnerability straightforwardness direct communication not hiding not being brutal just being very clear with what you want right i see that this person is going back in the past timelines of their life and understanding what has actually transpired with the card of looking at the bigger picture full moon in Sagittarius it's a lot about exploration that I feel a curiosity on your person's end to understand your person might be indulging in divination tools maybe tarot readings um, maybe just their own psychic development which I have with the card of psychic development I see that um, they're understanding the difference between distorted and divine energies per se um, and it's because they're healing so the veil of pain and I'd say the matrix the energy Energy. the hold of matrix is reducing from your person's um, grasp it is sort of releasing them and it's because of a deep transformative phase that they're going through I see if there's depression it's almost like depression and spiritual enlightenment are two um, paths open from the same door right when you rebuild yourself from that same phase where you went bottom to the bottom rock to the rock bottom excuse me um i feel like i'm really not able to talk properly in this pile but um i see that when you reach the rock bottom it's like you have a chance to rebuild yourself so it's giving me very phoenix rising energy where well, your person is also realizing that money cannot buy true love right it's a lot about your person realizing the importance of this connection and i feel like that is why the gratitude is inculcating within them that pile number three has actually really really been a major um support and a catalyst in my journey right and this appreciation makes them want to do better but because they've still placed you on a pedestal it pulls away from them being their authentic self because they start comparing themselves to you and it's not in an envious manner but it's more in the sense where they feel small compared to you maybe you're quite established um you're like a uh, a full 10 on 10 I'm getting like a package you make your own money you take care of yourself you're emotionally spiritually mentally very hygienic about yourself and your person has learned quite a lot but they're yet to implement the knowledge that they've grasped right um, they have to cut ties from their past which I see happening so overall I think that this pile is positive you know um there's a bittersweet energy but i see this definitely accelerating it's an ascension that i see happening with your person i see specifically with the first card that we have limitation is power it gives me the energy that your person is um, coming out of this warp that they used to go into with dysfunction like they would always convince themselves or get more attracted to people that are of their past or like those codependencies to feel adequate over there because when you're pushing this person out of their comfort zone they pushed you away because you were reminding them or making them feel like they cannot do that you know it's something that they were feeling per se and i think that perhaps now that they are coming out of this they feel like they're going to be more on your level because they're in a transitional phase there there's uneasiness i see with the hermit in reverse it's not settled with them but it's emerging a new self within them which is feeling impatient you know they want to find their place in this world and um, the more that they're digging deep into these insecurities questioning why is it so you know insecurities are not just minute insecurities like oh i got an acne on my face it's a lot about self-acceptance like i got an acne yet i am still a very um worthy person you know and this i see is something maybe your person went through a phase of gaining weight or reducing a lot and they lost that physical charm within their own eyes and they felt like they don't really have anything compared to you now so this phase made them also look inside 
their intrinsic value, what makes them from inside as a person. The character development is really taking place over here. With the castle, this talks about somebody. It's giving me sixth house. No, it's giving me second house. And I said sixth house. I'm picking up sixth house Capricorn or Leo for somebody over here. Ninth house Aquarius as well. But I see this as somebody who is understanding that they need to build themselves from inside. You know, when somebody just... Uh, blows wind on them they just collapse like something takes place like a tower moment and they just collapse in their life and it's because the roots inside haven't been strong enough so this is what your person is walking upon looking at every small little thing why it triggers them to the best of their ability and healing it so overall kudos to your person this is really really positive i'm really happy for you guys so let's get a few channel messages from your person pile number three Pile number three. All right. I want to touch you. Definitely a lot of uh, physical and sexual attraction. I'm hearing pent up sexual frustration as well. If you've been in separation so we have i need to go on my own way for a while so this is that in and out energy where they're sort of underestimating and i would say for a very plausible reason that if this person was ready in a way they wouldn't be so doubtful of the what that they bring to this table what they bring to the table right they would be more confident and forthcoming about it you are the only person who truly gets me. So with the Hierophant to reverse, you probably are very psychic yourself or you just have this emotional availability to you which lets the other person be themselves and you hold the space for this person to be themselves. This person has kind of felt like they are not um, appreciated for their sensitivity or their empathetic nature or they haven't been. And with you, I feel like this person thinks that you understand them. You're like an emotional, spiritual, and a physical match for them. Please stay, don't go in my life. This has been in all three piles. I see just a fear of abandonment that we established previously. You inspire me. So with the Hermit in reverse, there's an urgency I picked up, right? It's a time-sensitive situation that I pick up on this person's end, but they don't want to lose you. So they're trying to uh, sort of be hasty with the healing journey which is not possible right so i see spirit trying to sort of help this person tame that inner um imbalance which is about you know surrender to divine timing your person is not being it's, it's like a lack of faith in the universe that they will lose you to someone else you know it's again this intimidation that i have to hurry up so that they can be mine but if you are already theirs. Why do they have to rush so much, right? If it's meant to be, it will happen. I'm afraid of losing you again. It's a fear with the moon in reverse. A lot of the depressive thoughts and inadequacy come from the place of you finding somebody better than them. And it's again coming down to the realization that they also are worthy and they bring a lot to the table. Even if not right now, they are very, very capable of doing that. I don't want to break your heart so they don't want to um, hurt you you know with the queen of Re in reverses can talk about egoic measures they don't want to bring back the same energy with the eight of wands they want to come in they want to talk to you but they fear that they might say something wrong or hurt you or maybe not say anything at all you know this person might be a uh, had a, might have a ghosting element to their personality I'm afraid to take that step right now. So they are afraid because they know there's something imbalanced within them, which suddenly wants to take a growth spot with you, uh, wants to take a leap of faith, wants to manifest this connection into reality, wants to make it happen. But then when they actually think about being there, it's like the inadequacy kicks in. So they need some time. You're irreplaceable. Of course you are. I want to have kids with you. So this is transpired by an energy of wanting something very long term with you that lasts through the test of time. I'm still haunted by my actions. So they are fearful about what they have done. I want you. So 
I say that this is the magnetism calling them towards you, but they also have to tame this inner beast of impatience, I would say, pile number three. They have certain things that they still have to forgive themselves for, and this could also be that energy where they want to come in and ask for your forgiveness if you're not in communication with this person, um, but they haven't forgiven themselves, right? So they need the courage to forgive themselves the love they need to derive from within to love themselves so that they can actually look you in the eye and be like you know i'm really sorry and once they forgive themselves they learn from it because i feel like somewhere they haven't completely learned or digested um the whole situation with the look at the bigger picture the more it would happen the more this person would recognize the consequences of it i see that they are still crying over spilled milk but they don't have all the pieces of the puzzle right in front of them which i feel the universe will be placing it in the time coming forward before we conclude pile number three we have advice for you so we have female fit femme fatale in reverse shadow attribute inappropriate use of sensuality attachment to money and power we have the moon darkness in reverse number seven and bushfires fury Number 10, I would say that definitely you also might have certain moments in your life when you also uh, go, I wouldn't say tangibly to a depressive state, but you have moments where you feel extremely unworthy certain times. And if you're in separation, other circumstances trigger this part in you where you feel like giving up and not pursuing things in life that make you happy. So I think maybe a part of you is trying to escape the fate of the connection or how this is playing out because you're also facing a little bit of difficulty in trusting the universe. Maybe you're becoming too workaholic. You're attaching yourself to monetary success. Um, and it's also aggression that I see within you that is still yet to be released when it comes to this person. With a kangaroo spirit, I see this is also a growth spot that you want, like a spot. Like I want spontaneity. I want this connection to um, just emerge and place itself out in the physical realm. But I see that you both are mirroring this immature energy of impatience where you know you're not ready. You have to forgive each other so that you don't project it when you come in um, union with this person or some sort of communication okay there's certain things in the background that maybe you're avoiding about your life um, and you take comfort in the success of this connection that could also be your own career finding out who you are what you want to do in your life right there's a lot that you need to still think about just yourself and how you use this connection as an escapism for your own reality um, i would say this is an underlying energy of excuses where maybe you convince yourself that I particularly don't want to work on my life because this connection takes away a lot of my energy. So there's an imbalance within you also where you need to prioritize your success. And I don't mean it in a monetary sense, but the success of your own spiritual growth. And of course, as a human collectively. So I would say pile number three, you need to think a little bit about your own escapism tendencies. I sense a little bit of workaholism on your end to escape uh, the emotions of forgiveness that need to take place on both of your ends in this connection. You're facing difficulty in coming in terms with what actually transpired in this connection. I see that the universe provokes you to think about these things and let those feelings come to the surface and release it, right? So pile number three, this was your reading. I really do hope that you found a message that was helpful. If you did, please do hit the like button, subscribe for more, hit the bell icon so you know whenever I upload next. Let me know down in the comment section how that resonated and I'm going to see you guys in another one. Bye.